Ooh, welcome back, my loyal Roman subjects. Maxwell here, bringing you another episode of Crusader Kings 2, playing in the Myophysite Roman Empire campaign. And in the last three episodes, I did a, did a big chunk of three episodes in a row, and I asked you afterwards uh, what I should do with uh, all the people, you know, glitching and converting to a new religion. And I asked what I should do with the whole societies thing in general. Now, I hate this whole societies thing. It's really, really annoying, and it, I mean, I understand the concept of it, and I'm positive it happened, but it's just so weird that in the last couple episodes, there was a glitch, and every single person underneath me turned to uh, Sunni religion, and it just blew my mind how that could even happen. Now, some people are saying that I should just go and try and revoke provinces from these guys, but I actually looked around, and most of them would say no, which means I'd have to fight every single one while having to deal with the possibility the Abbasid Empire could come in. And I said, you know what, it, it was a glitch in the first place, so I'm not even going to, like, acknowledge it at all. It was a glitch. Everybody is my Fizzite still. I'm just going to go with that because it's, it's plain annoying and plain just weird in general. Like, I, I want to show you. Uh, I've looked at just everybody. Everybody that holds a title... These are just all the people like in my realm, just the mayors and just the barons. So every single person underneath me converted. So it just blew my mind that people could just decide to do that. And I couldn't demand their conversions either. Now, it was a very nice... Uh, th one of the people who commented said it. Most likely the reason is that the authority of the Sunni religion is way higher than the Maya Now. I can say that's probably true, and that would be a big reason, but it also happens with the Jewish, and the Jewish religion authorities at 20, constant, so I don't know about that. Uh, I think it's just, it didn't make any sense, because there's also some people that had, uh, like what I have right now, is they're secretly following another religion, and they still said, I'm a true believer, and it's like, how are you a true believer, yet you're following a secret religion? It does not make sense to me. But, that's what we're going with. I'm sorry if this kind of ruins, I, I don't even say this ruins the gameplay. The entire point of this goddamn gameplay is to form Rome as a Maiophysite, but I needed to do this. It just, it screwed with me the entire time that this was even possible, that a massive glitch caused that to happen. Now, another thing they did tell me is, I never do this. I have no idea why I never do this. Everybody else, I'm like, oh, let's click, right click and do stuff with me. I never look at myself. So I'm going to renounce my secret faith. I'm not going to do it at all, ever. I'm just staying away from that stuff completely, and and they can do whatever they want. Now, what did happen over those three episodes is these guys got popped out, which is very, very good because I can go and take their land. Now, I only have, we're here, mini, uh, two more to go. It'd be nice if I get some claims over here so I can go do it for you, but I only have two more. Hey, that's good. Now, we do have a guy, almost 20% per year. We don't have any claims, do we? No, we have a, claim, a strong claim on the Duchy of Wag? Why? Uh, we probably just got it. Ugh, silly, silly. The previous guy got it or something. Yeah. Oh, also, there's a lot of people I apparently had a uh, pact with that were underneath me. And because of that, I couldn't take their land either. Although... It's not doing this now? Also, who are you? And why do I have a pact with you? Interesting. No idea why. But yes, we're going to hope that we get claims on these guys, or at least one of them, and then when this goes away in nine years, oof, that's a while, uh, we'll be able to attack again for a province, because he's really just everywhere. So we're going to have to worry about that. The good thing is that now everybody is back to normal. We have this guy. The most amazing character ever. Hopefully, he will be awesome. Uh, you not nearly as good as my amazing uh, dude way back in time. Well, he was pretty much uh, quick, attractive, and strong. This guy, Mario's the wise, amazing. And then this is the first guy I had. Pretty eh, okay stats. Very heavy in offense or offense. Marshall, he's very good, but even. My freaking grandson looks like he's going to comp compete easily with those guys, which is ridiculous. Like, what did you eat? Like, drink milk seven times a day? Now you're brawny? 
you're a genius and everything. These stats are amazing, especially since he's 15 and he still has the... Hopefully, he had both of the traits for uh, stewardship, so he gets at least three. Hopefully, he gets the four, because, you know, stewardship or fortune builder is fine, but Midas Touch is amazing. I've been rambling on for a little bit too long. Uh, but yeah, that's the what we're looking at. Now, the Avacid Empire is in quite a number of wars. Uh, he's attacking somebody. No, sorry, this is probably not him. Yeah, no. Uh, he's defending in a uh, decadence revolt. There is a holy war from the Sulamid. Uh, I don't know if I can call these the Sult. No, there's a Sultanate. They're not an empire. The Sulamid Sult. Jesus. The Sulamid Sultanate are attacking, and they're being attacked by the Byzantines. So the Byzantine Empire. So yeah, they're kind of getting hammered, and it looks like they're losing in some place. Actually, I haven't didn't look. What are they? What's the score here? Zero percent on this. Twelve percent for the uh, the caliph. These guys and yep, and thirty-eight percent in favor of the Byzantine Empire. Now, unfortunately, uh, I previous king died, so I don't have a any ability with this guy anymore. Oh crap! I was going to convert you. I forgot about you. Yeah, I. Once again, it was a glitch, and I don't even know how the hell this happened. How are you still this? Ah, uh, I'll do that in between. Actually, I'll show you what I did if you guys want to know about this. Uh, it's You have to go care info, so character information, so you can see this. And then you have to do, what was it, religion? And then the guy's number, the ID that he has down there under debug info. And then you have to do the religion. Now you have to do it lowercase because apparently uppercase is wrong. Oh crap, not my FSA. Uh, <laughs> I was just typing. Uh, orthodox. How do you spell orthodox? That's not right. Yeah. Um, there's an O in there. Orthodox. There you go. You can go back to Orthodox, even though at some point you were my visit, actually, because I converted you. Mm, problem is that, yeah, you died. Would you want to... Ooh, actually, you died. Would you want to marriage again? Uh, somebody who is very good? Oh, crap. Do I not have anybody like this? Matrilineal? Oh. <sighs> um, the opinion you have there is very high. Maybe if I marry somebody like a little bit too old for you to have kids, it might work out. Damn it! Oh, you're sick too, and past the childbearing age. All right, well let's try somebody a little bit towards the top. There's you, but I don't want you. Uh, you're. Brawny does not increase. No. Oh. Ooh. Don't even want her. How old is she? He's not that old. She was like, what? 27. Yeah. Ooh. Alright, let's, uh. N it's still a thing, though. I think I will. Actually, would you do this? Oh, you would do this. Oh, that's hysterical. Because she is. She is chaste and. Oh, god damn it. keeps doing that. She's chaste and homosexual. So maybe there won't be even any kids. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's now uh, get rid of that because it gets in the way all the time. Alright, so that's how you you did it in conver uh, converting people. And the reason I wanted to convert him, because like once again, for whatever reason, just because he was in my court at the time, he converted to Sunni. He's not even relative, he's not anything like that. He converted for whatever reason. I don't know, it made zero sense to me, at least. So we're just going to continue and see how this goes. Right, I also married off some other people. Oh right, uh, this guy, I found him when I was looking around. Amazing guy, he doesn't want to be invited to my court unfortunately. Yeah, because his opinion is a little bit too high, but he's a genius, I want to give him something. And he has the blood of the Romans in him, so I wanted to just get him married off. So he'd have some kids. Uh, yeah, more people get married. You arrived at my court. Would you like to get to me? Yes, you would. Fantastic. 
Oh, it feels so nice to uh, have that happen. It is still that guy. Yeah, it's still this guy. So the hope is that because she is both homosexual and chaste, the chance of her having kids is low. We'll see. Okay, you arrived at my court. Yeah, I married a lot of people off. You arrived. Good, you will accept as well. Uh, revoke the city. Yeah, now they're revoking stuff from people because they're the wrong religion. Oh. <gasps> well, unfortunately, he got envious, but he's my touched. The best person around. Oh my god, a f 17, 15, 28, 15, 12. His my, oh my god, his stewardship's amazing. What is my uh, marshal? It's probably way high, 21. So I'm going to lose a couple of units when he gets assigned. Ooh, can I? I should be able to assign him now there, right? Probably not. He doesn't have any land. Does not, so I can't do that. Which is very silly. I want you to marry somebody who's also either a genius, a little 11-year-old genius over here. Okay. Quick. Attractive. Strong. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with the genius 11-year-old uh, here. The bastard doesn't exactly work out great, but I can overlook that. It's only five-year difference, too. So yeah, let's go with it. Hopefully nothing bad happens to him. And there's Hakim. Who are you about? Oh, right. Uh, I was thinking about putting you at... Don't I have you as a commander? Yeah, you are a commander. All right, I'm going to star you as a special interest. Now, the hope is that somebody wins big enough that this guy's empire implodes. Because there's so many times that, like, a revolt happened in this empire and nothing's really come of it. Oh, hello, you split up. Good, I guess? I don't know. Ooh, these guys have really split up. Yeah, so I'm going to hope that something bad happens with you, especially the decadence. If the decadence works, maybe these guys will split off. Oh, I hope so much. Please let that happen. Alright, you submitted, you submitted, you accepted this, good. Yee, a daughter was born. Uh, duty. The correct religion too. Oh my god. It feels so nice to have it my physite and not anything. Now I just need to watch out so I don't follow anything else. So I do need to give you some land, and I need to do it before I give my other son some land. The reason being that um, he needs to still be in my court and everything. Although it doesn't really matter that much, but I want this land right here to give it to my to that my grandson. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> Or sauna. Ooh, right. This land is super good. This is like ridiculously good land. The problem is that the further I go this way, the more I deal with the abscess. I'm trying to maybe get out. And I, wow, my god, everybody's blobbing over here, so there's not much land I can really push for unless I go up to here. Or over to here. And I want to go this way, but I need to get strong enough. Ugh. All the things. Revoked, revoked. You, this man I'm so fond of, more than my brother is or who's telling me I did not know or uh, Prince Marius so you're saying that you my brother are despicable you're saying that my brother is despicable you didn't have a single kid well wow. I did not know why you do you not have a no you did have a bastard but what am I gonna do with a bastard although what I could do Uh, marry somebody from my family so that the blood of the Romans passes on and it will be the same house. That's usually a good idea of what to do. Although, do I not have a lot of... Who is this young lady? My granddaughter. You think that's close enough? Or it, it, uh, close enough. I want it as far apart as possible. You're just a random kinswoman, so you're probably better. But the age difference, well, yeah, go for it. 
Yeah, I think that's far enough apart. It's matrilineal. He will still have uh, kid. Yeah, it will work out. He's a really, really goddamn good person. Uh huh. Decided to accept. Did you? You're staying in my thing. Now, do you come to my court? Can I? No, I can't invite you to my court. I want to see. Uh, secluded himself. You died of poor health. Ooh, that's not good. Which means my uncle needs another wifey wife. Wow, how many wives have you had? Just the two? Okay, just the two. It's not that bad. Uh, ooh, a strong woman. Queer, uh, eat you. No, I'm not going that young. Jesus. Uh, genius, attractive. An attractive 20 year old who's actually pretty damn good. Should I go for maybe a lustful one instead? Because he's. No, 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 no. Let's go with the attractive one. I could go for the strong one, but uh, 16's young enough that I can get somebody else for that. Yeah, let's go with you. Uh, revoke the barony, but revoke that. Yeah, people are revoking titles, and we're coming back to a my fizz, I think. God. Um, good. Now, you're in my thing. Would you like to be converted? You would. You like me. I assume it's because of... Well, it's maybe just personal diplomacy. What am I at? 22. And what are you at when it comes to that? 17. Ah, that's decent enough. Now, I do hope that you become somewhat good. Please. Ooh, following faith is not what I want you to do, but whatever. Go forth. Uh, I can give these away and we give my sword away. Not gonna happen. Alright, good. Ooh, yes. Uh, get prestige and increase prosperity. Reduce in Semyon. Ooh, down here. Uh, it's not my land. Wait, where is Semyon? Semyon. Right. It's not exactly needed for me to have anything built there, but... Oh, I actually own it. Own it. Why? Oh, right, because I don't own this one yet. So I was like, oh, this is a good one to keep. Let's just do it. I broke the bishopric. Seeks to kill. Voked. Don't do that. Killing's bad. Now, what am I going to spend money on? I am building some random stuff, but like I've said many times, uh, mainly just in this place right here, I know I'm going to keep this for a while. This land... These lands are not exactly known if I will keep it. Yeah, I guess I'll just build that. I'm thinking that I probably want to build again. Build another castle, city, or temple. Um, it's probably going to be probably another city and then maybe another castle. At best. Because I don't think I want another bishopric. Not necessary. Uh, but I kind of just want the money from cities, too, because they're way less for castles. Eh, we'll see. Uh, Observatory was finished over here. Good, good. Is there anything else I can actually build? Castle fortifications and a garden. Ah, it's still prestige, so let's go for a garden. Garden? Uh, you died and you inherited. You have 15 and you are... Uh, Marshall guy. What's my Marshall doing? No, he's a guy that's important enough. Do I even have any... Yeah, you guys don't actually hate me that much. You want to see on the council and your title claimant. But there's a lot of stuff that makes us happy with each other, so I don't really even need to do anything with you. You're overall just an average character. Are you, are you good at anything else? No. That's that's the straightforward answer. No. Alright, well, whatever. A daughter! Yeah, go with this one. You seek to kill. Return to court. I'm doing your stuff. Right, currently I am sending you off to... Oh, yeah, convert people here. Eh. I think I, I'm fine with that for now. Let's send you over to convert my lands. Hopefully that will work out. So, Abbasid Empire. How many troops do you have? You're down at 19,000. You have hostile towards somebody because you're being raided. Um, the Decadence Revolt is winning. Uh, the Caliph is destroying the Sulamids. And... Yeah. 
Byzantine Empire is winning, but they're winning not from battles, which I kind of want them to win from. Because if they would win from battles, they would be able to uh, crush this army so that the Decadence Revolt will actually work. Because I really want these guys to split up a bit so I have somebody to attack. You are my grandson. Now, I could do out of patience stuff again. Oh, I don't even have that. Never mind. Uh, I do have... No, I don't have a dog. Hmm. I have a family focus because I wanted my wife to give birth to somebody because I have the freaking uh, blood of Solomon as well. And she didn't give to birth at all. It's like one of those like, God damn it. You're killing me here. Oh, you can marry somebody. Oh, we'll get to you when you come to age. Uh, I'm sorry, my boy. Ooh, you're pretty bad overall anyway. Let's go with that. Let that, uh... Make sure you need a massive recruitment drive. Now, I don't want to do a, uh, what I could do is I could declare war, a holy war. Nearby Sunnis will join, which is not great. Because these guys might join. Oh god, Africa solved itself? You it looked like you had a really big problem and you're just like, nope, we're good. These guys will join. Ooh, are you not? Oh my god, you're not Sunni. Aha! That's one down, but this still has 2,000 units. You are in other wars. 2,000. Ah, now, if only I could actually have the Byzantines on my side. I would push for, like, Aslan or Sana. I mean, Sana is such a, an amazing province. It's beyond amazing. Last one's good too, and it makes me get closer up there. But Sana, man. Frankly, I would probably take Sana for myself. Well, oh, it has this too. It's not really that worth it. Well, actually, even then, this is on the Silk Road. But one, two, three, four, five, six. It's some really good provinces. Three, four, hmm. Usually I want to go with some places that have a higher number of these buildings overall. But having a prob uh, one duchy with that many provinces is very rare to find, actually. I don't know how many, know how many can get to six, but it's extremely rare. Because they kind of yell at you. Oh, oh, mom, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's also like that. Because they, they yell at you if you have too many duchies. Yeah, because Nobatia is okay, but I would probably give that up in a heartbeat for something like that. And give this up too. And give that one up. These nine? Yeah, I probably would do something like that. Alright, well, I would attack for either one of these, but I'm not certain which one. And I don't know when a good time is to attack this guy. Because it's definitely not right now. I still have to wait for, for this to happen, to, to recuperate. And... Yeah, they, they would still be able to bring in a lot of units. 10,000 here. How quickly would I be able to siege down enough? It, it still scares the crap out of me. He has 18,000. I have 9,000. He has twice as many, and that's just his units himself. And I don't have anybody else to join me in this. You would probably join. You would probably join. There's probably some people over here that might join, but you would join. That would ruin all of my plans now. It's, it, I can't attack and it super sucks. So I need the Abbasid Empire to do something, like, what? Have something happen to them. Oh, is that the guy I just married off? Yeah. Huh. Don't you want to come back to my court? No. Well, that sucks. Uh, died a natural death, though. Would have been nice if you had one more kid. Especially since your sons have something wrong with their, uh, their member, and they're not having any children themselves. Quite sad. More revoking of cities. Getting a nice monthly balance, though. Ooh, can I get another 
of these guys? No, I want another of these guys. Or cav units. Yeah. And I can't get that yet. Another hundred I can. Aha! The Merchantile Hall has been built here. Yeah, can't do anything but castle fortifications. and um, Castle fortifications aren't really worth it. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to get paranoid, so I might as well just do this. Then... Oh yeah, right, because I do this. Good. Training grounds. Isn't built over here. Uh, barracks. Ooh, or the Nubian Warrior Barracks. That one's really nice to have. Or keep. Ooh. Having that keep would be nice. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, it's in my main thing. Yeah, let's go with the keep. Ooh, plus 15%. It's really nice. Oh, what happened here? You won the Holy War for Tabriz? Or was that the one you had? It was probably that one. I've no idea where it is, but I think you won. Yeah, here. You won the Holy War of Tabriz. So, good for you. You are still losing that one and this one. But you're winning this one. Don't know what to do about that. Alright. Uh, gain humble or gain proud? Monthly prestige or monthly piety? I go with piety, and humble is probably a little bit better. Hey! Alright, well I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, unfortunately not much was done, it was mainly a, uh, what I did to change the situation because it was... I, I, I will not be ruled by glitches that big. And uh, <laughs> we're still looking towards going to war with this guy again and trying to get a goddamn claim. I haven't had a claim in, like, decades. So we need something to go forward. This is ridiculous. I need a claim. And I need the Ebsen Empire to maybe collapse from within because of everybody attacking them. I don't know. I'm helping the Byz I helped the Byzantine Empire a lot in expansion. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye